So what is going on everybody, it's your boy Jake Day, and welcome back to some more NBA 2K19 My League Rebuild. We're here today with the Memphis Grizzlies once again, you guys. I know I already did a rebuild for this, but Reddish Center hit me up in the comments for my last video a couple videos back. He wanted me to do the Grizzlies without Marcus Saul and without Mike Conley, because they, well, I guess Mike Conley's still there, but after the recent trade, I didn't do a rebuild with Marcus Gasol actually being traded to the Raptors, so I decided to go ahead and grant Mr. Reddish Center's wish and do a Grizzlies rebuild. We're going to do a post Grind City era rebuild. We're going to see what we can do here. Maybe I don't know if we're going to actually change from Grind City or if we're going to stay as Grind City. We'll have to just wait and see. Let's get right into the rebuild. You guys see here the lineup that we're working with. Mike Conley is our best player on the lineup, and he definitely is still, you know, he's still providing 22 points a game, and at his age, that's okay. But that pr that contract, bro, that contract is really what gets me, and I think that's what gets a lot of people in the league at the moment as well. Jonas Valanciunas came in that Marcus Saw deal. If you guys didn't know, Marcus Saw was traded to the Raptors, and Valanciunas was traded over here to Memphis. So now Valanciunas is here. He's got a player option next year as well. And uh, yeah, Valanciunas is a great addition to this team. You already know Jaron Jackson's there. Uh, DeLon Wright was another person that got traded in. But other than that, this team is not the best. They're definitely turning into a lottery team as we speak. So hopefully we can uh, get a great draft pick in this season. So let's take a look at the contracts before we get into that. Mike Conley, like I said, is number one on my list. Actually, no, Chandler, Chandler Parsons is number one on my list. This guy is getting 24 mil and 25 mil in the next two years. We need to get rid of that contract immediately because he is just scheming the whole Grizzlies franchise. And he's not even providing any kind of scoring for us. So we're going to get rid of him. Maybe Kyle Anderson as well and Avery Bradley. But we have Avery Bradley on a team option next year as well. So it doesn't really make sense to do that. But before we get into all that, I just want to show you guys what the playoffs were looking like for this rebuild. Raptors Portland. Wow. That's actually old oh, game seven and the Raptors win. That's surprising that the Trailblazers beat the, the Warriors in six games. It's, it's good to see, you know, a fresh team in the NBA Finals from the Western Conference. So I'll accept it, 2K. Let's get right into this rebuild, though. First things first, we want to take a look at the draft lottery odds. Now, we did have a pick, but now we might lose it. We were supposed to have the 12th pick in this year's draft, but of course the damn Celtics, like you guys already know, dominating this whole draft this year. They have three uh, lottery picks, and they actually end up taking our, what is it, the 14th pick? No, yeah, the 13th pick. They take our 13th pick away. But I don't Take know. a look at the draft board. We are going to try to get into the draft lottery this year. We're going to just maybe make some moves here, maybe make a huge move here, and try to get one of these top players. And that player is Mike Conley. We're going to trade him to the Lakers, which I know is a little bit of a risk because that does make another Western Conference team better. But Mike Conley is really our only valuable player on the roster at the moment. So, And with that contract, we might even, you know, we want to explore different options. And maybe if we get a great, you know, top five pick or something like that, we can maybe, you know, actually continue this rebuild and maybe even get a new point guard we're also going to get isaac bonga who doesn't even play any minutes for them so there we go we get that pick from the lakers and now we also make one more move mr chandler parsons get out of dodge bro you're out of here that money i need it back i need everything you've wasted our time we're going to trade you over to washington and we're going to end up getting a future 2020 first round pick so hopefully that turns into something nice but we just had to get that contract off of our hands. So now that we did all that, the contracts are looking a little bit better. The only person that's still on the fence for me right now is Avery Bradley. Um, we do have a team option. He's averaging 10 po or 9 points a game. So we're going to just wait and see how he turns out. Kyle Anderson is another one. Three years for 9 mil. It's a little it's a little much, but he is 25 years old. So we'll, we'll, we'll let development take its, its toll on him. And hopefully he can turn into another great player. But other than that... I think we did what we needed to do and we got rid of those bad contracts so let's get right into the draft here we had an opportunity to go ahead and get Cameron Reddish Kevin Porter Ryu Hashimura there's very people here we could have got but we decided to go ahead and pick up Cam there's no, there's no other way why would you pick anybody else he's projected to go fourth. Cameron Reddish with the 12th pick he was projected to go fourth so I mean I, I'm happy with that I'm not I'm not gonna complain at all and then with our second round pick, we also pick up Nazarene Reed from LSU, which is a, a pretty good steal in the second sure. round. So let's move on here to pending options. Jonas Valanciunas actually accepts his player option here for 17 mil. 
which is okay with me for now because he was doing solid for us. He averaged 16 and 10 in the season. And I'm not too mad about that guy for coming back to our team. Ivan Rabbit's another player we're going to end up bringing back here. He is on a one year deal for 1.62. Avery Bradley, I'm still on the fence, but we're going to just leave him at decline for now because CJ Miles accepted his player option for 8 mil. We got to make some decisions here to get rid of that contract, and hopefully, we can pick up Avery Bradley in the free agency for a bit of a cheaper contract, something around maybe like 9 mil or something like that. So. Take a look at the two qualifying offers, DeLon Wright and Tyler Dorsey. We're going to send those guys an offer. But now, this is what happens in our free agency, bro. We end up picking up Jimmy Butler on a four-year deal for 30 mil per year. I mean, he is a locker room killer at the moment, but we need all the help we can get. And this can even bring back the old school grindhouse feel that Memphis maybe needs. So, Jimmy Butler hopefully can come in, score like, what did he average? 19 points a game. Four rebounds, four assists, two steals. If you can keep doing that for us, I mean, that would be great. That would be great. Hopefully, this can be your home and you don't have to go to your fourth team in like four years, bro. Like, that's that's crazy that Jimmy Butler is being just tossed around like that. Another player we added in was Darren Collison. He's a veteran point guard. We brought him in on a one-year deal for nine mil. He was in Indiana at one point and then he got traded to Detroit. So, hopefully, this can be a good spot for him. Another grind, you know, a tough defensive three-point kind of guy he can get the job done we ended up giving delon Wright a contract we did send him an, a qualifying offer but what we ended up doing was giving him a two-year deal for six mil just because delon Wright, we know he works hard he's gonna develop with time he is 27 years of age and uh, he'll be another great addition for that point guard rotation and of course boban we gotta bring boban back i mean he wasn't on the team before but we're gonna bring him in one year deal two mil this guy's gonna get us 10 points six rebounds a game i'm happy with that so take a look at our player progressions here jimmy butler goes up one valentine is one jaron jackson goes up three darren collison goes down one which is kind of a red flag cameron reddish stays the same and no notable changes javon carter goes up three and that's that's really it. isaac bonga okay i mean i don't really these guys are development players we're not worried about that so take a look at our lineup heading into year number two we got darren collison starting at the point guard cameron reddish at the two then we got jimmy butler at the three jaron jackson Jonas valanchunas and our sixth man is going to be ivan rab and then we got anderson and boban off the bench with delon right so at the trade deadline with this this rab rad pack bunch of players we end up becoming the second seed in the western conference just after not even making the playoffs bro so i don't know if that's just tooting my horn that i'm an amazing gm but uh i'm an amazing gm guys just just gotta face it Jonas valanchunas we are going to send him a contract he wants to resign we're going to give him the big daddy deal of four years 79 mil and uh ivan rab as well i think 23 years of age and he's an 80 overall why not? We got to bring in that young talent and develop this team back to its promised land. He's averaging 11 a game this season too, so I'm not mad at all. We're going to send him that contract three years, 31 mil. Why not go ahead? Take your money, Ivan. At the end of the season, Curry wins MVP. 38 points a game. This guy went off. Zion Williamson with Rookie of the Year actually playing in Atlanta, which is crazy to think of there. Uh, Serge Ibaka, six man which is another different player. I haven't seen him as six men in a while. Giannis defensive player, Wiggins most improved. And then we got Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year for the Rockets. So the only player we had on the all NBA teams, we had Cameron Reddish on the all rookie first team with 15 points a game. Um, he averaged three rebounds, three assists, and 1.6 steals. So, I mean, that's amazing for your rookie year. He's really known as a sharpshooter anyway. So, I mean, 15 points is amazing. Take a look at the other stats though. Jimmy Butler, that isn't scoring with 17 a game. He also had five rebounds and a steal. Jonas Valanciunas, Mr. Money Man himself, averages 15 and 9. Cameron Reddish with 15 a game, like you guys already know. 13 for Jaron Jackson. And then Boban had a crazy year. He had 11 points there with six rebounds, bro. That's that's something I like to see. Ivan Rab had 10 as well. So at least we know the players that were given the money are actually putting in work for us. But we are in the playoffs. We're a second seed. Heading into these playoffs, facing Portland in round number one here. These guys haven't changed too much. Um, that Ennis Cantor move in real life is a, a huge, 
it's a huge move for them but I don't think this team is good enough to beat us so we're gonna go ahead and simulate the round and we actually almost lose we come back from a 3-1 deficit we're now facing Phoenix in round number two shouts out to Phoenix for being the Warriors by the way the other night that that game was crazy Devin Booker is that guy but these guys have John Morant the number one overall pick in 2019 this guy's averaging 24 points in these playoffs alone that's just crazy I don't know why 2k hypes this guy up I mean Maybe the hype's there. He is projected to go like top three in the draft in real life. So, I mean, maybe I just got to put some respect on his name. Um, they got Rudy Gay there also, DeAndre Ayton, Bogdan Bogdanovich. They brought him in from Sacramento in a trade. And, uh, yeah, this team is pretty good. It's a sleeper team for sure. They're third in the conference for a reason. We're going to take this game by game, though. We win game one. 138 to 122 Cameron Reddish goes off with 37 points a game 10 assists 31 for Val and 14 rebounds and then 21 for Jaron Jackson now I took this tip to actually lower the rotation to like eight or nine players because then you get numbers like that out of players like Cameron Reddish you get 30 point games and it just it works out better for the team I'm not gonna do that every single time because I know fatigue will set in eventually and uh, they'll just start playing like trash but we end up Winning the, la the next one, 26 points for Mr. Jaron Jackson and then 29 for Devin Booker on the other side. We end up losing that one by 10 points. Devin Booker with 26, 25 for Ayton, and 22 for Cam. So Cam's having a great playoffs run so far. Jimmy Butler's got to step it up with those 40 minutes. Oh my god, 3-2. 23, Cam Reddish. Bro, he needs help. Jimmy Butler, you need to score 30. You're playing more minutes than the guy and he's scoring more than you. 23 for John Morant there. We're going to simcast this game. Hopefully we can come up with a dub and tie the series up on the road. And we clutch it just by three points. Valentin is 29 and 11. There we go. There's some help. Bro, it seems like whenever someone else has a big night, Cam is just disappearing into the, into the background. But it's game seven and round number two. We're at home. Grind City. Showing it why it's Grind City. We end up grinding out a huge win here. 103 to 98. Jimmy Butler with 24. Valanchunas 24 and 13 and Cameron Reddish with 20. If we can get them playing like that every single night, it's going to be automatic. It's going to be automatic. Let's move on to the second round. Facing the Warriors here, their fourth seed. And these guys don't have... Bro, how did these guys finish as a fourth seed? They don't have KD, Clay, Demarcus, or Draymond. That's insane. I've never seen this happen, bro. We gotta. I got to go see where these guys ended up, man. Let's go take a look at where the rest of the players ended up, bro. This all happened within one year. So, Kevin Durant, he ends up going to the Philadelphia 76ers. He, are, he is in the playoffs. Uh, well, not right now because they lost. But uh, DeMarcus Cousins is now a Sacramento King once again. He's averaging 19 a game. And Klay Thompson went with him as well. Yo, and these guys aren't even in the playoffs. They didn't even make the playoffs. And they went to Sacramento. And then De Draymond got traded to Denver. The only player that just got traded outright that is sad golden state count your days because it might be the end of times very very soon according to 2k we sweep those guys and we're heading into the nba finals to face philadelphia with kevin durant ben simmons tyreek evans bojan dot bogdanovich and freaking joel mb bro i don't know where tobias harris ended up but Kevin Durant is a major upgrade compared to Tobias Harris, so I'm not, I'm sure this will be even harder than Philly already is in the sim engine. We'll have to just wait and see. Ah, uh, they got Cody Zeller off the bench. The bench is not that nice. They got the Zeller brothers. <laughs> I see both of them there. We're going to sim game one here. Let's see how we do. They won 51 games. We win the first one, 109 to 93, 26 and 11 for Jaron Jackson. Great game for him. Uh, Valentinus with a double double again. KD with 22. Come on, bro. KD ruins that chemistry over there in Philly. Cam Reddish 28 points, 20 and 8, 28 and 18 for Valentinus. That's what we. That's what we pay you for. Keep that shit up. Let's see. KD 29. Tyreek Evans 23. Seems that like those are the only two scores on the team. Simmons and Embiid have just been quiet. KD with 44 to end up taking a win there. That's that's what it takes to beat us, bro. They need to score 44 points with one player. And we had a quiet night as well. 3-1. Guys, I think we have this one in the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 28 points for Jimmy Butler, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. 
amazing stat line. Can we close this one out here at home? We do not. We get blown out of the freaking water by 33 points. Jimmy Butler had 30. And we just start to... Yo, Jimmy needs to take a backseat, bro. Let Cam do his thing. Because it seems like every time Jimmy's snapping, we're losing. We lose again. Jimmy Butler, 26. <laughs> we're in danger of losing this one. And game seven is here. And I'm just joking, bro. We win this one, 113 to 199. I'm lying again. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay here. We, I, I just, you know, we had to show switch things up. You know, I haven't done this in a while. Let me know if you guys wanted to see like some actual gameplay from like my team or my league. Let me know because I miss editing gameplay like this. Like look at this camera just coming down. Poster. I'm rocking strikes, these little OGs, there ain't no shell toes. Please don't try me cause my nigga got the velcro. I asked my girl if she gon' switch and she said hell no. I know my family gon' be rocking to the end though. My daddy used to stay up nice and drink his pain away. Sometimes I used to see him ball the stars to fade away. He told me son enjoy the So we end up winning the championship in. there, man. Like let's let's go, bro. After one year, we beat these guys. Bro, it was a tough series. Cam Reddish is a beast. I'm gonna say it now. Cam Reddish is our future. We gotta just keep it going now that we got this core together. We gotta keep it together and maybe even add in some pieces. We'll have to just wait and see in the offseason. Jimmy Butler gets finals MVP. I mean, uh, he did have a great series. Uh, Cameron Reddish, though, 29 points a game. He should have the playoff MVP. They should have an, a playoff MVP award, bro, because this guy, Cam Reddish, was just going off. KD33, you made the finals, buddy. But this isn't the Warriors. You're not beating us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we end up winning that one. There we go. Jimmy Butler finals MVP. You guys already know this. He averaged 22 a game, five rebounds, six assists, and a steal and a block. So this is what gets crazy. That Washington pick that I traded Chandler Parsons for is now a number two pick. Tell me I'm not the new Danny Ainge. And I hate to say it because he's a Celtic, but I know how good... Oh, bro, we dropped to four. But we have a top five pick and a 30th pick coming off of a championship. Take that in. Imagine the Warriors winning the championship and then getting Zion. <laughs> like, I mean, that's not going to happen here, obviously, but that's what it basically is. If you want to put it in perspective, take a look at the draft class. Uh, Jaden McDaniels is the number one guy right now. He goes number one to Dallas. Uh, Atlanta has the number two pick and they do something crazy here. They trade that's number two pick for D'Lo and Spencer Dinwiddie So now they have three Elite point guards in D'Lo, Spencer Dinwiddie and Trey Young and then the, the Nets go ahead and draft Killian Hayes Like I don't understand What 2k is doing here? The only thing that made sense there was Jaden McDaniels and Anthony Edwards But look at this trade that I'm gonna finesse here guys the fourth pick and our 30th pick we're going to give that up for Kemba Walker. We didn't even have a point guard at this caliber. We had Darren Collison and DeLon Wright. And now we're going to bring in Mr. Money, Mr. Charlotte, Kemba Walker. And they picked Theo Melvin. <laughs> Bro, we're finessing the whole game right now. We end up going ahead and picking up Kemba Walker in that draft, which is insane. Adding to it already a championship squad. Nothing's changed. Except for that player progression, man. We go up three for Jaron Jackson. We go up two for Jonas Valanciunas. We go up four for Cameron Reddish. The development is through the roof. Ivan Rab goes up to Isaac Bonga with a seven. Putting in work in the gym. DeLon with two. We brought in Baines. I mean, I, I, I didn't really think this was too important. But uh, we needed a new backup center. So we've just brought him in. Kyle Anderson. Goes up one. Wazirian Re goes up three. Harrison goes up four. Bro, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. This championship team. Look at the squad. We got Kemba Walker at point. That's all that I have to say. We won the championship with no elite point guard. And now our lineup is godlike. Let's get it, man. Hopefully that chemistry doesn't fold. And now we have Isaac Bonga on the rise. Everything is looking on the up and up. Let's get into the sim, baby. I'm ready for this. I mean, it's kind of disappointing, but we are the third seed right now. We're the third seed in the Western Conference. Not what I expected, especially since um, 
we brought in Kimba Walker, but uh, I guess I guess you know maybe the West is getting better. Maybe you know players are developing as well. So with that in mind, I decided to go ahead and flip Kyle Anderson here for the three-point champion Joe Harris, bro. We had to do it. We need to add in that firepower. Anderson just wasn't really doing it for me. He averaged three a game this season. Definitely been on a decline, even though he is only 27. And uh, yeah, we get Joe Harris, bro. Like Harrison, we brought this guy in from Houston. He hasn't even played any minutes. He's averaging 0.7. So he's nothing to me right now. But with Joe Harris, that three-point shooting could be insane for us right now. So hopefully he meshes well. Pretty much the same contract as Kyle Anderson, except for the fact that he's a lot better of a shooter and a player. Move right into it. Nikola Jokic wins MVP this year, 23 and 14 a game. Nine assists and a steal. Absolute crazy numbers. Anthony Edwards, the number three pick, wins rookie of the year in Charlotte. So maybe not all is lost in Charlotte anyways. Anis Cantor, six man. Giannis, defensive player. Marvin Bagley, most improved. And then Brett Brown, coach of the year for the Sixers. Take a look at our stats before we get into the playoffs. Kemba Walker led us in the scoring. 19 a game with five assists. Not too shabby, but uh, like I said, this is this is pretty much a grindhouse sort of team. Like we are a defensive team when you think about it. Kemba can play defense. Well, I mean, I don't know if he can really play defense that well, but Cam Reddish, Jimmy Butler, Valanciunas, Jaron Jackson, those four alone are just grit and grind players. So like we're pretty much this is post grind city. This is now grind country. I mean, that doesn't make sense, but I'm going to take that on the chin. We are the number one seed at the end of it, though. Going up against Utah in round number one, they drafted Trey, Trey Jones uh, with the 22nd pick back in 2019. So Cam Reddish is going up against his former point guard at Duke. Then they got Donovan Mitchell, Bo John, left Philly, and is now in a Utah Jazz uniform. Bro, that's crazy, man. Like, it's funny how this everything just changes so quick in this game, man. Gobert is still there. Come on, Looney. Nigel Hayes, there's Kyle Anderson, like I said, we may have won the trade there, he's not doing anything, Isaiah Harrison hasn't even gotten a single minute of playing time, I'm ready for these playoffs bro, get these Jazz out of here bro, get these Jazz out of here, chill, chill, okay, chill, okay, there we go, we advance to the next round, we got New Orleans up next, these guys are, I mean, they're, 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 they're the Pelicans bro, they got the Umbu, I don't know if I said that right. They ended up bringing in Willie Colley Stein. They still have Anthony Davis, Bismack, uh, Custis onto the Kumbo. And yeah, this, no, this, this isn't cutting it, bro. This, no. We're going to sim past these guys. Heading into the conference finals again. Hopefully, we can get to the finals. We, all we have to do now is beat the beard, Mr. James Harden, and Brandon Ingram. What? How did they pull that off? I guess the Lakers just didn't want to pay him, bro. Like, what? <laughs> 1.6 mil? Yo, how did they pull that? They didn't even want to match a $1 million contract for Ingram. This game is broken. Get Jalen Smith off the screen, bro. Brandon Ingram. This is like when Boogie went to the Warriors. But worse. 1 mil? Bro, we better beat these guys. We go up 1-0. Jimmy Butler with 15, and we still ended up winning. That's Grindhouse wins right there. Um, let's see how Harden did he at 22 and 12. 22 for Chris Paul. We win the next one. And can we make it 3-0? No, no, we cannot. They win that one by 16 points. 22 for Harden. 21 and 16 for Capella. Cameron with 16 with 18. We need more scoring, bro. I might have to change that rotation up a bit. We go up 3-1. And they end up winning the next one. Okay, can we finish this off? Can we get to the finals, bro? 25 and 9 for Valanciunas. Great job. Even though we lost, we lost by three. That's not bad. We can close this one out, please. 3-3. Three, three. You're making me nervous, guys. I do not I don't know how many times I've lost to the damn beard, bro. Kemba goes off for 32 points. Please. Simcast gods if you will please just look down on my soul and help me no god no James Harden and the Rockets beat bro the two games Kemba goes off we lose like I said if Cameron Reddish isn't scoring we're not winning James Harden goes off for 44 we are going to end up losing in the conference finals and Philly gets the revenge 
the revenge <laughs> and they win the NBA championship guys that's gonna be it man this is the line if at the end of things Kemba Walker you would think bringing him in would help the team out like he definitely provided something with his um 19 points a game but like he just didn't do it in the playoffs Jimmy Butler came in amazing he was a part of that first run with the championship really embraces that grind city mentality and I, I really appreciate you Jimmy Butler Jaron Jackson you could have done better he is an 89 though at 21 years of age so if I continue this he could have turned into a definite beast for sure uh, he averaged only 12 a game Valanciunas did his thing we gave him his money Cameras did his thing after drafting him Bro, Joe Harris, I don't even want to talk about it, but that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below on what team you want to see me do next, and make sure to hit that subscribe button, noti button, and I will see y'all in the next one. I don't like being in the dark. No, I don't. Had the time is like you ain't there. Where you at? You stopped acting like you care. No, I won't. My money long. It's one clear COVID and eyes. Who even knows your name?